Wow, look at that. Harry, Perry. Hey, look, it's Steve Cruz. Hey. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? You know, I'm I'm pretty good. Uh, welcome to Phoenix. Thanks. You uh, you happy to be here? Yeah, for the most part. It, you know, even though it's a conference and it's all work-related, you know, I live for these little moments, these little working vacations. The, well, they really, I, first of all, I mean, we're surrounded by a whole bunch yeah. of half-naked, hot young men. Um, one old one. And, and one old one. <laughs> well, two old ones. <laughs> yeah, that's my old one. That's, so. yeah. No, okay, so because you guys are like the famous gay porn couple, or one of the famous gay porn couples. You know. But, yeah. you know. <laughs> is, is that a neat dynamic? People ask me about that all the time. What's that dynamic like? Um, we fight fight over all the fresh meat, and uh. <laughs> no, it's wonderful. I mean, you know, when you find that person that as is as creative and as interested in the work that you do as you are. Um, I mean, I don't know anybody else in the world who I could live with, um, work with, you know, nine to five every day, Monday through Friday at Raging Stallion, and then continue to build a business with. So I don't think we ever have time apart. Wow. It's kind of crazy. Because my husband is an architect, and we don't work anywhere near each other, and I would I would have clawed his fucking eyes out <laughs> by this point. Hey, you know, they don't call it hard friction for nothing, but, <laughs> you know, our fights are constructive. Okay, all right. And they're healthy. All right. No, it's a good, good thing. Well, and the makeup sex is really hot, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> have you guys ever, have you made any home porns? Um, you know, our, our And if so, how come you haven't shared them with me? Oh, we can share a lot. We oh, all right. A whole website of sharing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Score. You know the the fucked up thing about porn star relationships is, you know, I think the first time we had sex was on camera. So I don't think there's really um, anything sacred anymore. <laughs> but, you know, for me personally, all the. I mean, I don't know if this is gonna ruin the, the illusion or whatever. But you know, all the wild and crazy sex. You know, I can have it every which way. All the performance sex. And the thing that I love. And I hold to myself as the intimacy and the and the friendship because that's gonna last forever. And I can't find that readily with the rest of the world. So are you a cuddler? No, I'm I'm not that warm and fuzzy, but um, you're pretty fuzzy. You cuddle <laughs> you're like pretty, a cat. I'm a like cat. You, you cuddle when you want it, and then when you're done, you're you're finished. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, you actually, and I, I didn't know this, but I, I just got a copy of the new Raging Stallion movie, and you and Chris Ward directed this together. Um, Actually, to be fair, right. there's two parts, right. and part one is um, Chris Ward directed it, and I am the videographer. Okay. So we're sort of like the team on part one. Part two is directed and shot by Ben Leone, so there's definitely, um, okay. where she, we're just Dispersing the talent, but um, it's my first. Um, oh yeah, hey, yeah, it's it. my first like, lo you know, big budget picture for a major studio by myself as a videographer. And what was that? Uh, without a co-pilot or partner with me, and it was amazing. I mean, with, of course, Chris is directing. Sure. But um, it was amazing um, because I know the experience was great. We were just talking about it earlier today we were saying what made that shoot so great was it was so stress-free we were on location uh, somewhere in rural California and everything just kind of went off without a hitch and it was it was relaxing and all the relaxing. performers were relaxed and we just had a good time you know we had all this stuff in place and we had time to make it good and you know, sometimes we're rushed and we're trying to do things so quickly but it was yeah. too many things in a too short amount of time and this was perfectly planned and um, and again I, on that set you know I'm the art director so I'm setting everything up and then he's shooting so we're like there together all the time yeah. see okay and it's actually really cool for me to hear things like director videographer art director because I you understand work, the language well I they don't it's the, I understand the language because I went to film school but I don't understand the I, I, I don't understand on a different level because I'm directing for an online studio okay and half the time in some You're of my favorite movies jobs. I'm doing all those things right, yeah. I'm and the we one, get that because we have yeah. an online studio yeah, we do. Everything. But for yeah. a major production, a director really is just the director. Like Chris really just came, sat at the monitor. He was in charge of making sure everything was, you know, everything was lit right. That the, the models were performing. He kept the energy of the models up. Um, he told me, as the videographer, basically where to go, and you know, in some cases, you know, how long to hold that shot. And so he re 
really is like a director in in all all senses. Okay. Yeah, because like I'm the I'm the only one there. I'm holding the camera. I'm. So you're the director. I'm, you're the videographer. I'm and do you the edit your own stuff. Yeah. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's what we do in yeah. Hard Friction. Right. So we we have this great duality in our porn world of being able to pull a, tr a triality, whatever that would be. Yeah. Be performers and then being able to do this small production where it's just me and him shooting a guy, or sometimes it's just one of us. It's just like you know. So having said one that. Of us, and then it's the big production things that we do. Sure. So having said that, bringing it back to your question, I think it was actually, you would think it would be a real constricting thing for me, you know, a performer turned director to then have to become a videographer and have a director completely be in charge of what I do, that I would feel like I would be somehow held back. And it was actually a relief to know that I'm only responsible for going in and capturing the most beautiful shots I can and, and knowing what to do because someone else was in charge. And I, I was surprised because I'm a bit of a control freak how, how comfortable and wonderful it was. And it allowed me to do the best job I could because I didn't have to worry about doing three jobs at once. So my work is probably the best work I've ever done.